6.9 Cool FM, your number one hit music station. It's the Midday Show here on Cool FM. My name is Brownish. You know, we're holding it down. And I've got Gracie with me in the studio. It's popping. <laughs> Hi. I'm super duper excited. Hey. And I feel very outnumbered. Oh, wow. Let me just put that out there. Because like I'm not the only female on seat right now. You know, we've got Shags in the building. Hey. We've got right. Groovy in the building. Hey. We have Hermes in the building. Hey. 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 Oh, and then we have hey. we have brownish and then we have grace ah. uh-huh. literally the only girl but i'm super excited because we all came in with energy yep. and we're wearing black as well well it's, it's like we planned it oh, oh, <laughs> yeah definitely so i mean we've got a lot of questions to ask you guys i mean you guys literally just left the house in fact when you guys left the house we were on spaces and we were looking i can tell you that we did not see that coming at all no cap right because I mean, most of you had been nominated multiple times. Mm-hmm. So we were, we were like, you know, these guys have, you know, they've got people outside. So uh, first talk, first things first, right? I'm wondering, do you think, you know, this is going to sound a, a bit controversial, but it's just, I'm just trying to ask, right? Do you think you guys left, not because you guys don't have that big of a fan base, but because like people just took it for granted that you guys already had a fan base and just didn't really vote? Mm. Um, to mm. be honest, my fans, Coolest Tribe, they went all out. That's mm. why, that's part of the reason why everybody is still, up until now, shocked that I'm out. I know there's yeah. a lot of propaganda going out as to what it is, but even coming out, the votes that we recorded were massive. Facts. So I can understand how I could come out. I understand it, to be honest, but I cannot take my, my people's narrative because they went all out, Aww. they voted, they did Aww. exactly what they needed to do for me, and I appreciate them for it. Nine weeks, no beans. I'm here, I appreciate my people. What he just said right there, nine weeks. It's not beans because it's a 10 week show and you made it to the ninth week. Uh, That enough is a crown that you should Uh, be wearing on your head. (laughs) Right there. Went into the house and came out celebrities. Exactly. I mean, but then again, you guys are already used to that life because, like, you guys were already doing a lot of big stuff outside the house before you guys went in, right? So that's the energy you guys are used to. So, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question. Obviously, you guys went in there to win a hundred million. Did you think that did you see this happening? you coming out nine week um you know like um in the house i said i had a dream mm. that i left in the ninth week yep and uh, my best friend stayed feeling prophetic the, huh uh, no nah, like i just i just had that dream and obviously he came through you know i feel like with the with some of the press that i've seen since i've come out mm-hmm. shakes fc must have done a crazy job to even keep me in there to the ninth week mm. so i'm just feeling blessed you know coming out with these two guys as well it's like i came out with the right people this was written already so i feel like the story was already written um i couldn't come out with a better pair of people and you can see what it's like we're all together um i got their back they got my back we know the truth so i just feel like man it's, it's big blessings man it's it, it too choke man it's it too choke <laughs> and what about for you groovy yo um omar i can't i cannot stress or thank every single person that kept me from day one to week nine like it is amazing it is crazy like mm-hmm. you said man the third week show and you make it to the ninth week man that's you know that's that's just uh, a love man blessing. i can't yo i feel so blessed i feel so lucky man to be able to call you know to be able to call these people my family yeah you know, because i mean i get my own family but now these people don't you know they don't keep <laughs> my family don't grow <laughs> um, uh, yes, groovers, yeah. groovers, every single day every single second i cannot but thank them enough mm. for keeping me there um, uh, you see, I, I don't i come up for a picture how many times for that facts and I stayed, but it is what it is. I mean, like just you know, just to, uh, to continue based on the, the first question you asked. I'm yeah. like, you know, last last man. I'm not gonna lie. I came into the show hoping to win. I came to the show hoping to make it to the final week. And before you for you to make it to, to, for you to win, you have to you have to make it to the final week. Mm. True that. Yeah. So so that's like that's a, it's like a step before a step. You know, but then like even though it was squash show, like I still believe you know that my fans you know they did every single thing to put you there. To me, yeah. yeah, you know, and I believe that God has a reason for every single thing, you know, for every single thing happening. Mm-hmm. And I'm just excited, man. The energy coming out like it's crazy. You come <laughs> out with Hermes, you come out with Shex. Come on you know, now, you know, like, the vibe. You know, come on up, now. We're trying up everywhere, yeah. man. Every place we go to, like it's just so much love and just mm. so much energy. You know, I'm just so happy. You know, like we all say, we're just happy to be with each other. I'm just happy to be with these guys. I'm so grateful to my family. I'm so grateful. To to prove us nice. for keeping me in this space for keeping me to week nine yeah and whatever happens man i'm a winner they're a winner that's I'm it here, and i'm ready to grab every mm-hmm. single opportunity you know that this platform has given to me so big up to them wow. you know you know like i feel like the platform means the world to me they changed my life and stuff Aww. but i really don't know what's going on you know coming out with these guys and even the way like hermes has had my back i know people definitely shocked about it you know i'm just scrolling on my phone right now i've just seen yeah bb niger twitter Bella seems to be bonding well with BB Niger finalists. Click here to get all the tea on Bella's bubbly new personality. 
Ooh. I think people should really see that narrative has been like they're trying to actually sell a narrative. Because yeah. what's that? What's that message saying? Do you Basically think saying that Shegs was stopping her from? Shining, being basically, yeah. It's mm. like, it's like, it's like. To be honest, like, I got so much love for them. I'm so happy they changed my life. But it's like everyone that was in the house actually mm. knows the truth, and I feel like I'm a human being, and it's, it's getting a lot now, you know, and it's really not fair. So I'm like starting to feel really unhappy. I don't know why. Aww. So it's just, I, I but just you know like what? I think you should focus more on because at the end of the day, it's about your personal relationship with her. So that should be the highlight for you at the end of the day. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred hundred percent. That is definitely the highlight. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling blessed, but at the same time, like I, I'm, I'm very, very confused right now. That's just <laughs> it. I'm just confused. I think you have to also understand that the viewers are looking at it from a point of, of view where they're this is what they're watching so at the end of the day it's like two points people are looking at it from this side and all but to better help people understand because i remember watching one of your interviews where you were talking with um Ibuka and you said something you said people weren't seeing the side where you were doing this and you were making her breakfast in bed and you were there you were telling her you know you're the most beautiful woman you know and all that do you feel like Kyle they didn't good, do a good job there Kyle yeah, is um, the one of the camera, camera to, you be, know? to be honest yeah, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm being honest like Kyle is one of the best people ever if mm-hmm. you actually meet him on a level like that's an amazing guy really Aww. who's a big part of changing my life mm-hmm. I would never speak negative on him okay. I don't even know exactly <laughs> what his job in the building is yeah, all okay. I know is that's a great guy that had took a look at me and said you know what I'm going to level you up and he definitely did that so i got so much love for him i'm confused but at the end of the day there's 28 housemates you know what i'm mm. saying it's not the shags and bella show mm-hmm. the camera's moving on different people okay. unfortunately for me i feel like the amazing parts of our relationship where it's like making breakfast every day loving just being great in the house wasn't, wasn't always portrayed. shown but if you look at the show yeah you've got people like hermes hermes is like amazing group life amazing of the feet, party amazing. so <laughs> how are they going to constantly be like shags and feet, um shags and um, bella when there's other amazing people to put on camera so i just feel like it was unfortunate that the negative parts of our relationship that was what, what was out there that, more. that's what was being put out not like the 90 percent of the time where that's really my best friend and it's great yeah Aww. i can imagine probably really a bittersweet sweet. feeling coming out of the house and not necessarily knowing what to expect mm-hmm. so i'm just basically going to throw it out there to you guys what was the biggest shock you guys got like coming out obviously shakes has said you know coming out he just got a bit confused because yeah. it's like yo there are 28 other people in the house and you guys are focusing primarily on like two people mm-hmm. who obviously have a beautiful relationship right so um for you um hermes what exactly was the shock coming out of the house man to be honest i think the biggest shock was how massive quiz tribe my fan base the love that i got to be honest um before i came in the house my individuality was something i struggled with i had to power through a lot of negative comments on the streets by the roadside a lot of things that come profiling that basically love. yeah profiling just people just thinking i'm a certain kind of way mm-hmm. um I appreciate uh, to the platform Big Brother for giving me a platform to express myself within the fullness of who I am. And people, I mean, the narrative flew that I'm, I'm a, I'm a, at the capacity. One, I mean, everybody at the capacity, just you know, individuals within the society wanting to be themselves, um, fighting through being that. I, I just, I'm just grateful that that was seen under the light that I projected myself. And the love that I came out to was shocking. I mean went in with like 12k came out with like 200 and something <laughs> k followers now that's, that's a massive growth nine it weeks is. staying in nine weeks um i mean i get i don't know that would i get help us but cool let's try i don't know how <laughs> they i i ain't going with no strategy like it's my life and i just yeah. went and projected myself and i think that's what it is and everybody saw a piece of themselves in me and i appreciate that there's so much love and i intend to keep that love going no hate all love support if support if support if that's what it is that's great groovy what's up what do you what do you think like coming out of the house what was the reaction like what was the um first thing to hit you yo uh the first thing to hit me was just the love from families man like to be honest i you know some days you know most of most of my stay in the show was just you know being, me being myself not being aware of the cameras not being aware of what's happening and then you come outside and you see that there's so many people that just really to you know showing you love and support mm-hmm. and obviously you know i had my own you know ups and downs in the show true that and you know that was analyzed and everything you know some narrative i think one of the narratives was that oh this groupie guy is really interested in food and women i was gonna get there and ask him bad. some it's questions not bad. Not bad though, but, you know, like, <laughs> the boy came into the show the, the yeah. boy came into the show you know uh, 
child of grace, someone that wants to make, someone that wants to make it in life, someone mm. that has things that's already going on for him, but needs a platform such as Big Brother to elevate. And I thank Big Brother so much, you know, for being able to be able to, uh, you know, to allow the boy, you know, to be able to experience this experience. And, and obviously, the, the fan base, the groovers, you know, it wouldn't be possible without that. So it was such a big shock, you know, just seeing that these people loved and supported me, even despite all the criticisms that, you know, that were thrown at me. But obviously, I've always been a big radiator of love and light, you know, uh, just being real, staying yourself and obviously um, doing your thing. So I love my experience in the house. I love food. I cannot, you know, I cannot you hide can't that. Hide it. You know, the boy loves food. The Facts. boy loves food. I cannot hide that. You know, but also, you know, um, when it comes to women, man, you know, I'm a warm, I'm a warm woman guy. I'll, and everything ooh. that just happened, just happened, you know. Okay. The close, the close things, a lot of things that happened. Mm -hmm. Emotions are high. Mm -hmm. Emotions high. are high. I want to <laughs> chip in then. Yeah, I want to chip in then and ask you know, a few questions. Love girl. Yeah, she don't know. come. <laughs> yeah, That's my job. You know, but yeah. to be honest, you're out of the house now so when you left there was i don't know if you've been able to see some of the clips that have been happening in the house as at now right yeah. so fina was having a, a discussion with chi chi and she brought it up and she said yeah. that you know she feels that yeah it's how he's smiling at me like i know what you're about to talk about <laughs> <laughs> she was having a discussion with chi chi and she's like yeah. i felt like you were moving to groovy or you know you were doing that or she felt disrespected for sometimes how chi chi would come in and kind of chip in when you guys are together and all that did you see or notice maybe chi chi was moving to you or get that kind of a vibe from her nah nah not not like that mm. i mean obviously now that i'm out of the show they're now much in the show as you know kind of like a fan yeah and obviously it's a 24 hour show mm -hmm. you know so whatever clip that was caught between, between that in, in that conversation you don't you can't really say everything that happened yeah in that whole thing because i'm talking from experience a lot of things can could have led to that moment do you get what i mean mm -hmm. but obviously i think that um you know it's, it's you know i would be in, in a similar situation if I lost Fina, you understand? Because obviously, I was always telling her that we'll make it to the finals and everything. Yeah. You know, urging and encouraging her. I'm like, if I know when you go win, you know that kind of thing. <laughs> Do you get so obviously yeah. I know that you know uh, maybe it's it's obviously affected her, but I expect her as a champion that she is to be able to pick that up. And as, as for um, as for the thing with Chichi, um, I mean uh, there was a time when Fina mentioned to me that Chichi you know liked me, but that was even before I and Fina even got together. Okay, you understand? And that was just you know my I just did talk on top because of my friend. Mm -hmm. you know, I did talk for my friend. All this kind, all <laughs> yeah, this kind of, yeah. Do you get yeah? But you know, but you know, I didn't come to the house to be able to play that kind of game. You know, you know, playing women's games and everything. And obviously Chichi later on. In certain DJ, which I respected, yeah, you know, and you know, and then I was a female, so you know, everything just got sorted out. So I just feel like you know, like emotions are high as I was, so as True I always that. say, and um, that discussion just happened. But you know, just being the people that they are, they were obviously settled, yeah, yeah, to yeah. go from you know, the um. Love, relationship yeah. love relationship to yeah. like friendship right so i've got a question for hermes you know um the week where giddy fire eventually left the house mm. yeah right um there was a bit of an altercation you guys didn't really settle and this is from giddy fire's point of view because we had one spaces with him yeah. on saturday and he was like you know things happened things were said and all of that and i saw how pained you were that night when he eventually left because nobody expected it mm. um so elaborate on that do you have like any lingering feelings uh, leaving the house now uh, or is it just lingering feelings no lingering uh made decisions that i have to leave by leave through yes um so what happened was giddy fire my brother like what i'm doing with my brother shakes right now i expect loyalty facts so that's exactly what i give i can't give or i can't expect what i won't give and that's my brother from day one we've been looking out for each other i've been involved with everything yeah. that he was through and i stood with him even without with all the narrative that was behind him in front of him around him i stood with my brother because that's what i expect my brother would do for me if i get in a similar situation right and in that arena giddy fire made a whole lot of comments i'm not going to repeat out here that just we saw it otherwise <laughs> yeah yeah like, it was like it's been it's fine with me losing i'm never gonna be fine with my brother losing i'm gonna stand with him holding exactly. down when i need to when i can with what i can because that's how i roll and i expect loyalty if i'm gonna give it and at that point in time it became clear and i'm i believe that the only reason why I lashed out like that is because the only people that can disappoint you are the people that you give love to Facts. because strange. in giving love you made yourself vulnerable yeah and in that vulnerability i give trust to mm -hmm. you you betray that trust trust and the reason why it was that much is because i held him at that high yeah. uh, a standard a, a standard and he just it was just a lot of disappointment that i was expressing no resentment no yeah. i'm never gonna have a i don't have the capacity for hate. it's all love i wish him the best the, the, the capacity for will and work would allow him I, I hope he flourishes out there with every work 
I'm just not going to be a part of it because I can't trust him to hold me down when he needs to. And that's just what it is. Like, I wish him all the best. Like, no lingering feeling. I don't hate nobody. I can't hate nobody. It's just, you know, I got to know who's riding for me, who I'm riding with. And we get it fire. I hope I wish him the best. We're just not I riding like with that. each other like that, you know? I, like like, that. I hope I hope he flourishes. I hope everybody that comes to the to the, to the the zones, I hope they all flourish. But I'm, I'm just not going to have a relationship. I'm not yeah. going to be part of his journey and whatnot. Oh, just, no more? Is, not at nah, all. Anymore. I mean, if we get if we get opportunity to work yeah. together, it's work. I'm getting my back. He's getting his back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting in the arena together. Like, mm-hmm. we gotta but you're not going to act together. like your bros or anything. But there's, there's no, 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 there's no acting. There's no acting. I'm real always. Like, mm. it's no acting. If we got to work together and there's something that we got to act out together, oh my, I'm back to work because work ethics the water. Like, you know, that's right. important right now regards mm-hmm. the tax. Yeah. Like, I got to bring it. The energy full on. Like, it's just that that's not my bro. I don't ride with him. That's okay. deep. You know, that's, that's deep. You know, Giddy Fire said something different. You know, he was like, I mean, that things like Groovy said, you know, emotions were heightened. Mm. People yeah. said things. But, you know, eventually, like, Settled with Adekunle Now, but now like, here's yeah. Settled with Adekunle Yeah, yeah he, that's what said. Both of us The three of us being like G's from day exactly. one Exactly From day one I ain't settled with nobody I just kept my relationship Going with Adekunle Now If Giddy Fire Owned up to his stuff And came to me And we mm. had a brother-like conversation I waited on that I waited on it Till eternity Giddy Fire after the 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 entire altercation still went on and made side comments they were laughing at me i wouldn't do such a thing even right. though we had the altercation i would not keep on holding that energy because mm. i cannot hold hate it's all love from this boy it's all love so i didn't do none of that and i saw him do it constantly if he had owned up to his stuff came to me and we had a brother-like conversation understand what emotions we we're going through mm. under the circumstance that we've been through together of course we would have had an agreement but he never did that which means he just thought he didn't owe me that and i understand that like you don't owe me nothing as well i don't owe you nothing i just wish him well that's all i don't wish nobody bad i yeah. hope he gets to work that's all talking about you know wishing everyone good uh, there are like how many finalists now about six of them minus um, the writers did y'all think rachel and cheesy did, did you know they were writers in the house for sure. oh, oh! Where was it casted for you? Come on, cheesy's on how? Because he kept being nominated, right? No, not not even that. Not even that. He was too loud in the house. Nobody else, even me. I knew how. How projected I must be. I wasn't even that confident. Like he would do it. He would do it. Real housemate. He wouldn't. He wouldn't go that far. Man. Are you he serious? Come on, come on, come I, I, I told yeah. Biggie. Biggie asked. I told Biggie. I don't know if that was ever. I told Biggie. I what about Rachel like, though? Rachel, that's Yo. the reason why we never had a relationship. Yo. I said it from the get go. She fake. My bro, my bro, I've been please. saying oh. it. Please. Oh my goodness. Oh my no, coming out now. Coming out oh now. And uh, now I feel like now. Yo. Yo. He's feeling himself. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I understand. She was doing her job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's all love. Exactly. So, so basically, coming yeah. down, I'm like, oh, she right there. So, ah, no one. This, this is so funny. Yeah. So I'm, and, I'm literally. I, I love that this question got asked. I'm yeah. And love, I'm with love, my boys love, as well. Love, yeah. Love. Do you, you know funny thing about this? Yeah. So, when Rachel came into the house, she yeah. came through the doors. Yeah. In a few minutes. Who do you like? She said Hermes. Now let me ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> If you're gonna be like, I like that guy. What's he, what's your name? Mm. The guy's gonna be like, I'm Hermes. What's yours? You're gonna be like, I'm but Rachel. she knew his name she knew already. His name already. So I tapped Bella uh, on the side. I said, What's I going guess. on? <laughs> so from the <laughs> jump, yeah. 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 So from the jump, mm. I already knew. When I had the argument with Rachel, I never spoke to any other housemate like that. But mm. I had serious arguments with Cheesy and Rachel because yeah. I felt like they were trying to get under my skin, mm-hmm. get okay. under Bella's skin because mm. they were fake housemates. I felt mm. like that they were doing, doing a job. I didn't even know I was gonna come out to the reaction I came out to. Yeah. Do you remember when the argument was happening? I kept saying, "You're fake, you're fake." Ooh. Don't use me for Twitter stream. I was yes. Oh! Oh! Now it makes sense. It makes sense. Now, now it makes I sense. I knew, but I didn't want to say too much. So I thought yeah. the world would be okay. like, "Wow, Shakes is actually clocked." I was telling yeah. them all the time, like, mm-hmm. "Look, yeah. like Rachel, the only person I didn't clock was Medela. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody else, I just I knew. Cheesy came in on some vibe. Oh, you knew Deji was was also a fake housemate. Come on. How, so Deji. okay, so y'all how, be how having like intuition stuff going on. Deji came downstairs because it's so dirty. Upstairs was so dirty blah 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 we're like Hermes has like is super clean see yeah no joke yeah mm-hmm. Hermes flosses his teeth 24-7 <laughs> I brush about 3-4 times a day he brushes like every yeah. like if this guy Charles is brushing instant mm-hmm. like 24-7 I'm one of the, remain. the whole house will be dirty <laughs> trust me the whole house will be dirty he'll yeah. sweep if Hermes wears something this morning, yeah, yeah, it's on the wire in the evening. He's already Man, washed it. Like his level of, I'm clean here, yeah, awesome. but this is ridiculous. So when Deji came from nowhere and was like, "Yo, that uh, um, he's moving downstairs because he's not comfortable upstairs. He's dirty." Duh, 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 duh. I was like, "What's going on?" Then the toilet was so dirty. I could already tell, like, bro, you went to do this that yourself. This wasn't working. Like, mm-hmm. I, <laughs> Come on now. It felt like just, they were doing a bit too much. Yeah. So it, I yeah. wanted to even just know about the finalists at the moment. Minus the people we knew were writers yeah, already. Yeah, 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 Who yeah, yeah, 
do you think I'm gonna start with Hermes because I mean I can guess who and you may want to win yeah. but who would you want to have you know winning and holding that 100 million um, say, uh, yeah, for like you like one two yeah would be putting me on the spot I'd rather not climb on mm. okay who do you take <laughs> To win, so yeah. One so person. before I came out, mm. being in the house, I would say Fina for sure. Yeah, she's been up. Fina Brian, mm-hmm. they've been up a couple of times. They yeah. survived, so they already built a number of fan base. But coming out of the house, Ibuka said something that became so important when I started to watch the show from okay. the spe- uh, viewers' point of view. Yeah, yeah. yeah. point of view. He said a week is a long time for a lot of things to change. That's right. And I came out on a Monday. All of the people that I was, the comments I was seeing on the TV was, why are people hating Chichi? Before, you know, everybody started directing things to Chichi. Exactly. And things were just shift, and then my fans are like, Ade Kunde for the win, now that MS is out. Mm-hmm. Like, things are shifting. Big Bella, mm-hmm. Big Shex, Shex fans are mm-hmm. like, bro, Going for Bella. anybody can get it. Daniela has a narrative that's currently flying. She's so talented, everything mm-hmm. is moving. Mm-hmm. Like, anybody can get it at this point. At this point, anybody. But who's your it, heart desire? I mean, there's someone you're looking at. Heart like, desire. I would love for you to win. Like, you know, my G or my, you know. Oh, um, I would love for Adekunle to win. To be exactly. honest, that's my bro. That's yeah, my I, I was figuring that that's out. That's my brother. What about you, Shags? <laughs> me, obviously. <laughs> I know. Obviously. I'm, still, I'm still gonna give him the floor. Let him <laughs> talk. On, man. Like, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Big Bella. Big Bella. Good vibes. You know, like, come on, man. Groovy? And Groovy. Yeah, Fina. I mean, course. it's pretty much. So we're going to go in, into a break in just a short while. But just before we do, right? I'd really, really like to ask a question, and it's just about you know the um the level three house. Did you yeah. guys see that coming? Um, okay, so didn't see the level three house coming. Okay, but when the three of them left, I don't know if this was aired because again it's twenty four hours. The next morning, I woke up and I was like. I think Chomsey's coming back. I think you should just open like a house where you just tell people, I think this is going to happen. And, and then it's yeah. just going to happen. I think Chomsey's yeah. coming yeah. back. Yeah. 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 It's just uh, Shex's house of wonders. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes, right? Yeah. Where he just comes in and predicts your future. Right. And he knows what's going to happen, right? So we're just going to go back into the music just before, you know, we go on that short break. And then we'll be right back. You know, it's the midday show here on Cool FM 96.9. Yes. We've got celebrities in the house. We've got Groovy. We've got Shex. We've got none other than Hermes in the house. Yep. It's a hey, lot of great energy. We're so organized, yep. and that's why we're going to play organized by Asha Kett.